We just got another huge care package from Spigen with new accessories. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into part two of new accessories for your Tesla. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Now, the majority of the accessories you're gonna see in today's video are all courtesy of Spigen and their line of Tesla accessories. Spigen is a brand that's been around forever. Now, to be completely upfront and honest, I am a huge Spigen fanboy. They're one of my favorite brands. I have been using Spigen products for the better part of the last decade. They have always been the case that I put on my personal iPhone. Ever since really the iPhone first came out, they are like the masters of the perfect thin case that still offers some protection for the iPhone. Then when the Tesla came out, Spigen said, hey, we're gonna jump into the Tesla market. They did send me these items. It's not like they're paying me or anything like that. And I wanna give you my true honest opinion on them. The majority of what they sent is some decent new stuff. And Spigen's always good for a couple new innovative ideas. Links to all the accessories you see in today's video are gonna be down in the description below. Sadly, we do not have a coupon code to share with you guys, but that's because Spigen already discounts down their stuff on their Amazon store, which all the links are gonna be Amazon links. So you're gonna be getting the best price that Spigen has to offer anyway. Now, before we jump into the Spigen accessories, I do have one thing to show you that I do have a coupon code for, and that's coupon code LOCKIT3D10. And if you can't tell by the coupon code, I'm talking about the folks over at 3D sent us something new to show you guys. That 3D is a long time partner of our channel. What we're talking about is their all weather floor mats. Now this one in particular is new to the channel because 3D not only makes the best all weather floor mat that money can buy for a Tesla and really for any vehicle out there, but they make different types of them that have different styles. The floor mat we have been using from 3D in our Tesla since the day we got it is the Kagu all weather floor mat. This is what the Kagu one looks like. It's kind of like just a, a, a basic gray there it's got this like little type of like square brickish type pattern in there if you're looking for a really slip simplistic look this is perfect for that or you can go with the new elegant one more blackish gives you a little bit of a design here are the two side by side this just looks a little bit more classy it kind of matches the name elegant gives it that little extra touch. All of their floor mats are completely precision measured and they all have these like rigid edges. So it really gives you like a bowl. Like literally, if I hold this up, it keeps its bowl shape. Now the nice thing about that is that it keeps all the dirt and if you have any liquid that spills, it keeps it all contained in the floor mat. It doesn't spill to the rest of the car. You can even power wash these suckers and then they literally become brand new. The other nice part of these, and this is really, I think the, the biggest difference differentiating factor between the 3D floor mats and the other types that are out there that are trying to copy them. The backs of their all weather floor mats has their spider technology. You gotta come in closer, check this out. It's like a Velcro. When you put Velcro on carpet, especially like the cheaper type of carpet that you would normally see in cars, that carpet, it's gonna start to fray because of that Velcro constantly pulling and tugging on it. This is like Velcro, but it's not. These little fibers that just grab onto the carpet, but as you pull it in and out, it doesn't wreck the carpet. It doesn't fray it. This spider technology keeps it in place. It keeps it so it never slides around, never accidentally pops out. It's got the nice 3D badge. If you don't have that 3D badge, you're using a fake. Everybody's gonna know it, just don't do it. Now I know these 3D mats, they can get expensive, but they are worth every penny because of the quality that you get. Our code LOCKIT3D10 will help save you at least a little bit. It'll give you 10 bucks off whatever you order from their website. So uh, now let's check out all the stuff that Speaking said. They sent us a good amount of stuff. It seems like all of this stuff all has that kind of signature Spigen carbon fiber design that they put on everything. It's not like in your face, the entire thing is carbon fiber. They just accent everything really, really subtly. It just looks so nice. I am just a sucker for carbon fiber. If you like that carbon fiber, accent, you're gonna love pretty much the entire Spigen line of Tesla accessories. 
Now this one is designed to help organize the center console under the arm rest. It's a really hard plastic, it's not flimsy at all. It has really subtle carbon fiber. It's really subtle but it's nice. And then the bottom is like a really nice, it's like a really thick rubber type of material on the bottom of this that's lined. And then the other nice thing, again, see these, these are the little touches that really good brands do. Look at this cutout right here. This cutout right here is designed to sit right by the cigarette lighter. They cut out the little hole so it doesn't block it. The install of this is pretty simple, right? You just open it up and you set it in there. Here's our current armrest situation. You have the gigantic cavity with a huge mess going on here. Right here, you have your cigarette adapter. You're just gonna kinda take it in head first, and then it just kinda falls into place. The nice thing is, is check out right here. You still have access to that to the cigarette lighter. Michelle's spare glasses in here, you know, a microfiber. And then if we need to access the stuff that's underneath in the giant cavity, you just kind of grab this little divider and then boom, it just pulls right up and you can access it whenever you need. Next up is a cup holder adapter. I'm noticing a trend. I'm seeing these cup holder things pop up by a lot of different really good manufacturers. Do we have a cup holder problem that I'm like unaware of? Do we need more cup holders? It holds two drinks, one 40 ounce container, and then a 16 ounce. If you got like a giant Yeti mug that you use, or maybe one of those huge Stanley mugs that are like all over the place now, I guess that will fit in there. And then you've got your Starbucks as well. You gotta have your water and your Starbucks. Your Starbucks can go in that little ring that pops out. This puppy is big. This is mammoth. This, this, this is something to hold, let me tell you. See again the thoughtfulness in some of these designs. They have right here, look at this. It's a little cutout for the handle. I think that they, when they made this, they had the Stanley Cup as kind of the sample. And then this top part is gonna swing out. So now you can keep your gigantic mug, your 40 ounce mug of water right here. And you can keep your little Starbucks cup right in here in this one. I can see this being useful if, now I'm gonna preface this, two ifs. Number one, this is just not super huge and gigantic sitting in there. Number two, I do wonder, do you have to have this extended out in order to fit that giant Stanley mug in here? Good thing my wife has one. We're gonna check it out. I just discovered when I was like getting ready to move inside and test this out, not every car has the same size cup holders. You turn it and look, it expands. Those bottom pads expand and protrude out so this can fit into literally any cup holder you may have. It could be a giant one you have in whatever car that you drive. And to be honest, I may be stealing this and putting this in my truck. Or speaking, I may be coming to you for uh, another one or two of these. There's not really a whole lot of install to it. You just kind of put it in and then you turn it to have these pads extend out. That is one pretty big cup holder. If I'm kind of driving like this, I can slide this out here and now I can put a drink in here and now I can put a little drink in here and I got like kind of quick, easy access to kind of both of these down here. For my water, I use just a, a regular old Yeti. So let me go ahead and put it in here. Well, that, that fits without a problem. Now I can tell you my Yeti doesn't fit in the regular cup holder. It's too big. So anytime I'm in Michelle's car, I usually have to throw this in the passenger seat, which is kind of annoying. Let's close the ring up like I'm, you know, not double fist in here. Does it still fit? It does not. It does not fit in there. I just don't know how I feel about the ring being there like all the time. It just makes everything sit higher. So like if I'm going to the screen, I feel like this is kind of popping up. Let me go grab Michelle Stanley and we'll see how that fits in here. When I went to go grab the Stanley, it ended up coming with Michelle as well because it was already in her hands. So. Hmm. Yeah, see, it doesn't fit with the ring closed. You have to have the ring open. This is like my, my only big issue. It sits super high up off. And honestly, I, th I don't think it's all that kind of secure. Look, look at how high up that is. 
And in order to even use it, you have to kind of keep this ring out. I don't know, I really like the idea of it, but at least for me, it raises it up too high. It is big, but I love this idea because I don't travel with just a cup usually. I usually have a, a second cup of something. So I do like the added option of this. I wonder what this would look like in my truck. I'm not ready to give up on you yet. All right, let's take you over to my truck. So I feel like the cup holder in my truck sits a little bit lower. So if we put this in, I feel like I got more room to kind of expand this thing out. See, I feel like this isn't like as obnoxiously high. I feel like in something like this, it's a little more roomy. This actually kind of makes a lot of sense. And then obviously we already know your Stanley fits. And the Stanley, I feel like is at a pretty good height. I actually think this is a much better height than when it's lower because your handle's reachable. I think it makes more sense in a vehicle with a more open kind of situation like this. Agreed? I do agree, but I love it. Next up is a back seat seat belt holder. I gotta tell you, this is something that seems kind of silly until you have a kid. For whatever reason, kids lose that seat belt. Not just of Artessa, but I see it all the time. Even in my truck, I see problems like this. Mason definitely has this problem where he's in there and he's always trying to like reach over to grab the seat. But for whatever reason, those seat belts in, in second rows of vehicles, they kind of sneak to the side and then they kind of get stuck back there. And little kids, they have a hard time trying to find and grab it with their short little stubby arms. This is gonna keep the seatbelt right where it's supposed to be so it's easy for them to grab and pull over. Let's pull it out and check out the quality of it. Not that I doubt it because we are talking about Spigen here. Just simple matte black here. There's no like adhesives or anything you have to worry about any of that. It's literally just the post holes right here and then the seat belt just goes right in through there and it keeps it there they got their little logo right there nice little subtle touch but it's it just blends in it's the same color it's not like it's standing out right now the seat belt for the second row is sitting back here it's like all the way back here mason always struggles trying to find a way to get it back over here and then it always just slides in the back this is going to keep it so it's going to stay out here but it's not going to cover the handle that you need in, in order to like pop up this second row so you can access and get to the third row seating. Included in the box is this little tiny like uh, Ziploc bag. In this bag is a very, very tiny and skinny Allen wrench. You're gonna need this for the install, so make sure you have this handy. These headrests are really easy. If you just go underneath, you can just push up a little bit. That's the button right there, the normal like button that you push in to kind of release it. You can't simply just push in and pull up because it's actually locked. You see that little tiny hole right there is where you're actually going to stick this. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take the Allen wrench and you're gonna stick it in that hole and then you're gonna press into it. That's going to release the lock that then will allow you to push this button in and then push and release these all the way up. And then it slides up super easy. You're actually gonna have to pull the seat up a little bit in order to get it to fully release. Simply put the posts through those two little holes on the bottom and then just slide it all the way up. That's it, that's all you're gonna do. Now we're just gonna put the headrest back in. Just sliding it all the way down. Once it gets to that lock position, you could just push the button in on the side and push it the rest of the way down. It's not gonna go all the way back down like it was originally, and that's because this plastic piece, right, that we put in attached to the posts, it, it does give a little bit uh, of room there, so it can't actually go all the way back down to the point where it's touching, but it's barely noticeable. It looks normal, I mean, it just kind of sits there, but now we have this nice little seatbelt holder here. It hovers above the button, so that way you still have access to this. And then you can just take the seatbelt and guide it right into that little holder right there. And now boom, your littles that sit in the second row are gonna have no problem getting access to their seatbelt. Next on our accessory list, I'm a sucker for mud flaps. We had a set of mud flaps in part one from Pimp My EV. Now there's it have that carbon fiber print on the back, which is really cool. The install of these are gonna be the exact same to the install on the last ones. It's really easy, they're no drill, they just use pop clips. Spigen went above and beyond. Not only do they give you the mud flaps and the pop clips that you're gonna need, but look at the extra mile that they went. They give you a 
pop clip removal tool. I actually don't have one of these. I now have my own pop clip removal tool. Nice touch speaking. I wish I would have had this when I showed you the other install. This would have made it super easy to get those other pop clips out. These mud flaps are a little different than your normal ones. It has like that flared out design. And here's the kind of the flare out that you can kind of see there. We just put the other ones on, so I'm gonna leave those on. These are definitely a lot more stylish. So if you're looking for style, this is definitely gonna be the way to go. Next up, a screen cleaning tool. Your screen gets gunked up and looks gross. All the constant fingerprints that it collects, because I mean, it's a touch screen. The only way to really operate the car is by constantly touching the screen. This is a nice, easy tool that you could just keep right in that center console that allows you to clean the screen whenever you want. It has a soft bristle brush on the bottom of it. And then the top of it is actually a microfiber pad to kind of give it that last little bit of polished look. It comes in this cool, little like convenient case it's got the logo right here on the front it's got this little button press down and then it's got a little cap to it now if you pull the cap off you have that microfiber pad that i talked about that'll give you that little finish touch on cleaning off fingerprints off that screen they also give you a backup pad in case this one ever does get kind of crudded out they give you a backup replacement one that you can just kind of throw on there you press down and then you slide it up and the bristles pop out. This is not gonna scratch your screen because I, I know that that was my first concern when I saw that there's like a bristle brush on this. This is super, super soft. This is definitely not gonna scratch the screen. It's just way too soft in general. This is more to kind of clean dust and debris off and then you finish it up with the microfiber pad on top. I did actually already film this, or I thought I did. The screen was actually really dirty. However, unfortunately, the camera wasn't recording when I did it. So I cleaned it off and it actually did a fantastic job. Now before you clean your screen, always make sure to put your screen in cleaning mode. You do that by hitting the car icon, going into display, and then right here, the button that says screen clean mode. Press that button, side button in on the tool. Extend those bristles. These things are super soft. Look how clean it is now. It's clean because of this tool. I didn't use any liquid cleaner. All I did was use this tool. There's no dust there's no anything on here this was actually very dusty and there was a ton of fingerprints the one thing i will say if you have like spots on here that need an actual good deep clean you're still gonna need like a spray you can either use glasses cleaner which is really just a mixture of like dish soap mixed with water and it's like a diluted dish soap so it's like a one to four ratio and just a, like a little spray bottle that'll that'll work well or alcohol white pads they work well too alcohol is great to use on electronics it can easily live inside your arm rest center console in the little organizer that you got. Now, last but not least in this exploration of Spigen new accessories is a center console armrest cover. This is just simply put a nice black cover for your armrest, maybe to give you a little bit extra comfort, a little extra padding than what the current one provides, or to give you protection in case you're worried about the oils from your skin and stuff like that getting and ruining the existing one that's on there. This is just a nice little cover for it. This one has no adhesive. Most of these armrest covers they and, and the reason why I, I refuse to kind of advertise any of them on here is the majority of them have adhesives that like adhere onto the existing one, which kind of is gonna wreck it right off the bat. This one from Spigen is designed and it's made to just slide right over top. Ooh, this is this is nice. So it's not like a leather. I don't I don't really know how to describe how it feels. I mean, it's just a, a matte black. It's not gonna show any fingerprints on it kind of whatsoever. It does have have a very little subtle Spigen logo there. It's like a TPU material, but it's got a little bit of a grip to it. It's really soft. It's a really heavy duty type of TPU. Let's see what it looks like inside though when it's on. So all you do is you just slide this up and it's really designed to just kind of pop on and, and just slide right in over top of the existing one. Just like that, it's on. And honestly, it looks pretty good. Like, I don't think you would ever really know that this isn't the factory topper for it. 
a bunch of great new accessories from Spigen and those awesome new all-weather floor mats, that new design from 3D. As a reminder, if you want to pick up any floor mats from 3D, code LOCKIT3D10 will save you 10 bucks off anything you buy from there. And if you want to pick up anything from Spigen, use our links down below. They'll take you right to Amazon where you can get the best pricing available for any of that Spigen stuff. I'm telling you now, Spigen, they read the, the comments for these videos. Let me know down below what your favorite accessory was from Spigen. If there's anything you'd like to see Spigen come out with, drop that down below in the comments too. If you're not already subscribed while you're down there, hit that subscribe button too. We got part three, the last part of of new accessories for your Tesla that's gonna be coming out very shortly. If you wanna see part one of the series of new Tesla accessories, go ahead and click that right there. If you wanna see the last video that we've done, go ahead and click that one right there. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in another one real soon.